Afternoon adventurers, how many of you have seen Avatar The Last Airbender and thought, I want to make that guy in D&D? Because I sure have. And I have uh, what might be a little bit of a hot take. I don't know. Maybe not. Let me know in the comments. Also, like and subscribe while we're at it. Aang is a sorcerer, not a monk. And I'll tell you why. First of all, and do correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Aang never actually hits anyone with his physical body in the show. <laughs> He only fights with bending, while a few characters do some actual like martial arts combat, such as Azula and of course Tai Lee and Zuko, especially when he's got the mask on. Secondly, if we look at the Way of the Four Elements Monk, which is obviously inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender, that's no secret. They have access to 12 different spells, and I will put the list on the screen. And all 12 of those spells are on the Sorcerer spell list, and Sorcerers get them way earlier. So a level 9 sorcerer can have the complete list. Well, not truly, because sorcerers don't get 12 spells until they're level 11, but you can at least get most of them and pick up the last two as you level up. But it actually works out because you don't necessarily want all these spells as an Aang character, like Gaseous Form. Aang doesn't turn into a gas cloud, so you don't need that one. And Hold Person could be considered like a bloodbending thing, I guess? or maybe there are strong gusts of wind holding someone in place, or maybe how Aang locks the Fire Lord in stone. It could be reflavored, I suppose, but at least at face value, it's maybe not that applicable. Fly can work because there are various firebenders that fly, and Aang is, of course, an airbender who has the glider and such, so that could easily be explained with Avatar lore. I've also put druids in this little table I made because they get a fair amount of the spells that you'd need, as they are pretty elemental focused, their spell lists are. Druids also get some cool spells like Bones of the Earth that sorcerers don't get, that are very bender flavored. So I threw that in there. Sorcerers and druids both get a bunch of spells that the monks don't also, things like Firestorm and Wall of Water. Spells that are dripping with bender flavor, but simply aren't on the way of the Four Elements list. So what I'm thinking is a Sorcerer 9 with most of these spells and possibly some other ones mixed in, and Monk, some amount of levels, is probably the most accurate way to portray Aang as he gets access to all these cool spells. You could even, depending on your Sorcerer subclass, add more damage to some of them with Draconic Ancestry or add some extra flight with Storm Sorcery, etc. The list goes on, the subclass doesn't really matter, and you can get the cool defensive features from Monk giving you things like deflect missiles and slow fall and increased movement and unarmored AC. And all that without being tied to the way of the four elements subclass, which we all know kind of needs a rework anyway. Also kind of a side note, but sorcerers get all four of the elemental cantrips, gust, control flames, control water, and mold earth. And they get them right away because sorcerers get the most cantrips at four, at level one. If you're not making an avatar character, but you want a bender type anyway, Going either Sorcerer or Druid, depending which one you're going for, may be a better option. For example, I think Druids are actually a better fit for Earthbenders because they get things like Bones of the Earth, where Sorcerers don't. But for something like a Firebender, you of course want a Dragon Ancestry Sorcerer, Red or Gold, or which one is it? Bronze? Brass? What's the other Fire one? Whatever. To add more damage to those Fire spells. Way of the Four Elements Monk also doesn't give any lightning spells, and while Aang only redirects a little bit of lightning, he doesn't really use it that much during the show. If you're just going for maybe a non-specific avatar character, or you just want to, sorcerers and kind of druids also get access to a lot of that. So in conclusion, I guess Aang is probably more of a monk sorcerer multi-class, possibly monk druid. Not necessarily just a sorcerer, I may have come out a little hot in the beginning of the video, but in any case, he's definitely not just a Way of the Four Elements monk. As much as Watsi tried to make that the Avatar subclass, it's simply going to be a lot more fitting and a lot better mechanically to go with a casting class instead. With, again, those defensive features that I mentioned from Monk, as monks are actually pretty defensively capable. Plus, that always gives you the option of punching the crap out of someone instead of casting a cantrip, and that's just fun sometimes. Anyway, that's about all I wanted to say. Maybe I'm late to the party, as both D&D and Avatar have been out for some time now, but say la vie. 
If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I already said that at the beginning, but it does help my channel out quite a bit. Also subscribe, that helps a lot too. I'm rambling now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yep, yep.